Hello everybody, funnily enough, oh god, this is a terrible way to start the video. Okay, hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to season 46, first round match between Chet Sweezy and his halflings, and Zara, who's just stabbed a undead player, and Okipik and his undead team. Uh, of course, halflings, very tough match. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude, who sadly doesn't have a picture on right yet, yet but hello Squirrel. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. The classic... American introduction. Um, I shall find a picture of Squirrel. So yeah, it's you know it's halflings. There's not too much you can say, is there? Um, no, it's pretty horrible. Midflings too. They aren't. There's nothing really special about the team. Yeah. Aren't they, are they even down a tree? Um, yes, it looks like they're down a tree. They have an edge fall catcher. No, sure, feeder. Oh, okay, no, I thought. I thought the picture was catch, but I would have taken sprint just because it lets you get places you couldn't otherwise get, right? Yeah. yeah it, sprint and sure feed are weird because sure feed is probably better on its own, but sprint opens up more possibilities. Yes. It's weird. Yeah, that's the thing. I th you know, like especially with a toss, right? You can end up just out of range, and then and then sure feed doesn't do you any good then. But like, so it may it may add more percentage like obviously i don't know how it works but it may add more percentage overall but for me it's like i hate kind of scattering out of range and they're only movement five so it's it's pretty it's pretty like it feels pretty likely whenever i uh whenever i toss yeah. a halfling but of course the the other side is obviously their movement five so getting a free square of movement or a safe square of movement or two squares of movement multiple turns can be very useful for the team as well exactly when you need yeah. to push up quickly yeah so, for sure yeah. for sure i like i, I really like your feet obviously what you want both um, for sure and uh i am not a capricorn razzle storm <laughs> um so there you go. Um, no reroll use of the root tree. Oh yeah, he stole two rerolls from the with the halfling chef, and he also has a babe. In addition to, of course, Zara. Guessing and... the undead purchased an extra reroll heading into this match, then because they're still at two, or did they gain a reroll? No, they gained a reroll on the kickoff event, didn't they? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Brilliant coaching. Fair... Oh, because they had the fame, they won the brilliant coaching. Mm. Not actually Capricorn, but I did get I did get found out lying about my birthday once because I, <laughs> because uh, because this girl was like, uh, "Oh, so you must be a you know whatever you know Capricorn or whatever," and I'm like, "Oh no, I'm Libra," and, <laughs> and then like I could tell she was confused, and I was drunk by this point, and, <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh yeah, I've been lying saying it's my birthday." <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny. There you go. Hello, Dimmy. Wow, Dimmy's here. Unbelievable. Dimmy with his amazing, his amazing kebab. Barbecue kebab, glorious. So, yep, things are happening. We've got halflings um, versus undead. They're, um... A very normal start. One tree is rooted. Deeper has gotten himself in the middle of a whole bunch of problems which he'll never get out of because it's, there are zombies there and the undead are squeezing the halflings. Yes. Yeah, it's... Like, it's tough. It's tough, isn't it? It's just, like, it's a real tough match for the for the flings. I'd expect some mighty blow tackle with 3 DBs. Yep. Yeah, mi missing a tree sucks for sure. Definitely in this matchup against certain teams, it might not be so bad, but it's horrific and undead because it's you now you don't really outstrength them. They have two mummies, you have two trees. No, they only have one mummy. No, they, no, they have two. two. They've got two. Someone said that. No, game of vision, it's not only one mummy. <laughs> There's two. They have two mummies. They have two whites. They have two ghouls. Re nice ghouls, right? Move up and uh, edge up. Mm -hmm. And one benched. A blitzed stall. <laughs> Did the super rat team? I don't think so, Chunter. Um, definitely haven't covered it. Wow, Dimmy's. Dimmy's ghouls never regen. He must be the most nice man in Blood Bowl. Yeah, that's really unlucky. My rules always regen. <laughs> I've, I, I never can failed. honestly say it, I've never had a ghoul fail regen. So there yeah. you go. 
yeah, this is this this self team split is a bit uh, a bit suspect. Yeah, it's not great. Because especially because Deep Root has traded himself off on zombies, and I don't think any undead coach would want more than that. It's so good. Yep. Cause especially because now there are two that are basing him once you know one gets to stand up they turn after this so yep and his whites are freed around just go around and do whatever they want the mummies are totally freed up to just keep holding the edges yeah it's great yeah it's brutal yeah the the root the like combined with the root at least if the other one wasn't rooted he could try and bring the other tree over mm -hmm. and like make a make something well, <laughs> but yeah, instead he's just stuck away Use deeper to like the pivot to like break through the middle here and like get up, but now it's just he's just split on two sides. Yeah. There's just no way to get past these zombies, really. Yeah. Who is the fling picture? Inarian, yeah, it's the Inarian. The Inarian police picture. <laughs> because... <laughs> From BBSL, which may have a new season starting. There you go. Very exciting. Exclusive. I can exclusively reveal that something might happen. We've got an announcement of an announcement. <laughs> an announcement of a potential announcement. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. I mean, he's got deep root. You're just following the lead of the Blood Bowl 3 Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Not a good sign when you're potatoing on turn 4. No. No, it was it was Andy Deva, wasn't it? Jumped with the announcement of the announcement. But yes, Trent did do an announcement of announcement, <laughs> getting in fully into the fully involved into Blood Bowl by announcing announcements. Ball might be blitzable. Um, uh, are you yeah, sure? This maybe. Are you sure? Uh, wow. Store is some kind of Blood Bowl savant here. I don't know how he's how he's figured this out, but. I guess the real question is, what's the optimal way to do it? It's, um... Oh, okay, DT on the... Oh, DT doesn't matter, because it's strength 2 when it's getting into assist. It literally doesn't matter. Yep. Yep, And might falling be. in that square doesn't matter. If he'd fallen in the square next to it, it would have been okay. It would have been better. Yeah. I don't think it matters. There's nothing you can do, is there? Like, it sucks you've got to make a blockless block. But... Oh no, you okay, don't even this guy. Like... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no, so you can't. If he was one over, he could have just blitzed with him, and then he wouldn't have even had to yeah. clear him. But I don't like clear. um tagging. Oh, I don't like that square with a zombie either. No, I would have tagged with and... a zombie. I would, I would have tagged yeah. Zara with a zombie so that she can't. She can only stab a shithead zombie. And tag the other one ideally with not. And then maybe not. A, the maybe one. the um the mummy. I don't want yeah. the sure hands doing it though. Sure hands seems wrong. Yeah, no exactly. Yeah, you want, you want to be able to recover. I mean, you can recover with the Arch 4 anyway, but still. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we roll that. It's the power. And the toss. And yeah, look, he could have had, he could have had a movement 8, sure hands, ready to react. But instead... Yeah, it would have definitely picked up a bolt. Definitely would have gotten there, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, he's got the Arch 4, so it's, it's all mm -hmm. good, Maybe he should have left that Dauntless Zombie to activate until later so that he could go and base, um, do a GFI and base Deep Root at the end of this so that Deep Root can't get a hit on the ball this turn. Yep. Yep. I mean, he couldn't GFI, there isn't, couldn't he? There is no other play here than the Deep Root. Wasn't that GFIs available? Yeah, he didn't GFI, so he could have just GFI'd. Mm. But... He had used the reroll, so I kind of understand not GFIing, but yeah. ball in hand forcing... Ball in hand force uh, the Leonard to do two, two GF GFIs rather than do one yourself. It's probably okay. Yeah, fair. Yes, Dimmy. Yes, yes. Better not be posting spoilers. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to be a second. And this game kind of feels already over. Yeah, it's not good, is it? It's not good. No. I mean, Deep Root's on the ball, but Deep Root is easily removed. <laughs> and I don't know what you do from there. It's, it's so hard for Flings to get the ball off a block. 
Do you foul Zara? If you, you try and set up a foul on Zara, if you're on the undead. Um. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Because she's the way they uh, theoretically get the ball off your plodgers ever and kill your team, and we already have an advantage. Yeah. You've got so to I think trying to get her out of the game seems really good. Yeah. The, either the Edge Four One or the or Zara basically. So yeah, I think I think, like that was okay putting him there, but I think yeah, it probably is worth just trying to. Trying to get the dirty clue. I guess you haven't got many reserves, right? Yeah, maybe mm. not. You've only got the one reserve. If it was like if you had two, two, or, yeah, obviously this is off the pitch. But do you know what I mean? Like if you can get yeah. a foul on him, you you would foul him. Um, maybe thirteen. If you had thirteen players, yeah, or fourteen players, maybe you foul. But it's not well. You know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good there, isn't it? Because you can't jump up because she'll get uh, <laughs> she'll get served. <laughs> That's pretty good. Break tackle on a mummy doing something kind of. They were my favorite skill to pick break tackle on a mummy, but um. It's a bit better, isn't it? With plus movement, I think that makes yeah. a difference. I also don't love plus movement on mummies either, to be honest. It, it does help, but like, let's do the stand up blitz. But other than that, it feels often kind of inconsequential. The the problem is is just they've only got guard <laughs> for a mm -hmm. skill, so I do like it. The problem is. That like you know what I mean? It's it's just it's just delaying how long they are to get. Well, they've got guards stand firm. Stand firm's decent. Guards amazing. Yeah. And then you just want block, right? Like that. That's it. If you, yeah. And, and and so so that's actually, you want like block, dodge, tackle. You want just to roll doubles for the rest of the time. Yeah, doubles exactly. Stats for the rest of the time at that yeah, point. yeah. So so that the only thing is it's taken you like it's just it's just basically like if if you roll the double then you yeah you, yeah I'm, I'm not really coherent yet sorry but i, I think movement's amazing for them. Like, i think it's completely amazing for them just because they're not getting value off normals if they were general if they had general access on normals mm. then i would probably never take movement because i would be taking yeah. block dodge and everything but w mm. but with them not have, only having strength that's why I, I i massively value it actually yeah I mean, it's hard to make mummies bad, but this is why there is an argument that people say flush golems get better eventually than mummies, just because mummies' skills get worse. I'm not sure that's actually true. I think if you put mummies on uh, Necro, they would just be better. Almost always, but... Yes. <laughs> yeah, they, they get closer, though, for sure. They, mm -hmm. they definitely get closer. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? Because at, and they at more consistently TV... get closer than uh, mummies get far away. Yeah, the thing is, like at high TV, if they get claw pond, like they're just gone. So the strength five is no defense at high TV. There's guard, there's guard. Mm -hmm. So like, so yeah, at low TV, the strength five is is a defensive stat, and the armor nine mm -hmm. is a defensive stat. And at high TV, the armor nine is no longer a defensive stat, and the strength five is no longer a defensive stat. And it's harder for them to get block. And, and like, yeah. if they've got block, the flesh golem's got blodge, and then and then the flesh golem's thick skull remains a defensive skill um, mm -hmm. at any. At any TV, they yeah they become like really bad offensive players really at high team value, or a way for undead to basically deal with kind of getting guard locked a little bit, yeah. and to deal with bigger strength teams because they can still use zombies to like blitz through semi reliably. Yeah, I mean they're still good players. It's just it's just mm -hmm. that I think that's the the, the defensive aspect is. is no, the they they go from being maybe the best player at one thousand team value to being like average. Yeah. To being an average strength five guy. Oh, is he not, he's not going for the ball. Do you not think going for the ball was better there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have even gone around as well. He could have maybe tried an uphill or something. And then gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's, it's, yeah, you probably need to go for the ball there and get, try and get lucky and playing or um, play for outs because the game's already over if you just play normally now. Yes. <laughs> this score is just like, congratulations, you're pressuring, but the entire undead, undead team catches up with you next turn. Yeah. And gets in, like, keepers out of the game, the other trees out of the game, you have two mighty blow tackle coming up, you have an agility four who's just gonna push the diving tackle away. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. It's a super hard game. It's a yeah. really, really hard game. Yeah, I If I'm dead to get the removals, it's just over. Like, yeah. you just don't... You need your trees to somehow hold... You really do need three trees, you need the zombies to be bad, you want them to not have this much tackle. You want them to not have an agility for... <laughs> yeah. 
You need your opponent to play terribly <laughs> and get unlucky. <laughs> I mean, I've done it. I've lost a goblin with undead, but I like to think I was a worse coach then. And also, I did things like smart, like not take a bow down on a goblin. So I'm a smart boy <laughs> with a mighty blue white. Oh dear. Yep. Jeez. That's. Oh, he's just that dodge is insane. Yep. That's insane. Yep. All right, you've got a shot now because the undead coach played terribly and got unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. That is kind of unbelievable. I do not like the dodge away there. It's awful. Yep. You can just... Just block. Just... I mean, who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> Fuck off, Storm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he did make the playoffs, even though he didn't have the best Wood Elf team ever. Yep. And hello, Wayne Ferry. Not the Chalice Finals, no. Um, that is kind of a clickbaity thing to say instead of playoffs, I would say. But no, this is the first round of the Chalice playoffs. Both skinks roll double fives. Depends on you, the rest of your team, Um What TV it is, everything like that. Probably a sure hands and a movement, I guess. Block sure hands and movement are the only reason for choices. Unless you're an insane person like go, Russell. Yeah. This guy's in range, isn't he? Fails the catch. Well, Oki Pick um, pretty much threw that, that score away, I think. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's really bad. Have another chance. Ooh, good three. Ooh, that's actually really big. Yeah, yeah, they're telling me there's a chance. And they've still got 11 players. Yeah, and they haven't lost anybody important at all. Just rookie, rookie flings. Just Weasley's really going to need to kind of um, rethink and refocus and get a better second half. He's going to need to play better, but he's got himself a chance because um, Okie Pig let him into the game. Just got to take that. He got opportunity and try and capitalize on it. Yep. All right. Well, so movement on the side step then, Helmies. Movement on the side step. Oh no, maybe he's moving on the rookie, so you've got more chance of getting movement ten. Yeah, movement on the rookie, so you've got more chance of movement ten. Or like just a general stat freak, and then sure hands on the side step because then you you know you can just carry on that normally. Oddly, him having a side step makes me a bit more tempted to take block, just because block step is good on any player. Um, and lets you do some weird stuff on sidelines, maybe, but you probably still go sure hands. I, I, I just like sure hands, puzzle. because I know. When, I'm, when I'm playing lizards, the only way I can lose is if I fail millions of pickups at the start of the trap. Yeah. <laughs> it's how I feel. It's obviously not exactly true. You know, I can lose, obviously, yeah. playing badly. It lizards. also means you are way less vulnerable to strip ball, which otherwise is just terrifying for you, because you just can't stop two DBs. Yes. And it's just it's so likely to get the ball out of your hands, no matter what. Yeah, I would still take block on it after that, uh, you know, like... Yeah, obviously. Block is still good. <laughs> yeah. Block is still very good for skinks. Yeah. Because Blodge is pretty, pretty weak, but uh, also pretty strong, getting on the dice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's a bit weird. Huge stun actually there, isn't it, on the tree? It means he can yep. leave it in the dust next turn. Is he going to tag Deep Root? No. Man, there's some inter Deep Root blitzing the mummy just to get himself on both the uh, mummies and make the mummies do stuff so they can't like clear a route. Root seems pretty good. Unfortunately, Weiser can do it for him. Like, I don't... Man, the, the flings being down a tree really hurts them, because just one more tree just to eat up players would be so huge in this matchup. Yeah. But this is a great this is a great blitz for sure. Yeah. That's why I would have considered uh tagging him. Mm-hmm. 
as much as it's not nice to give up a 3D with Block Mighty Blow. Um, if yeah. zombies aren't there for doing that, what player is? Yeah, getting them on those two is very... Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I would have definitely done that. I would have definitely attacked him. Putting on a bit of pressure, getting some... <sighs> Trying to keep the undead in a corner. Pretty good, making it so they can't get away from the uh, trees is nice. Yes. Yeah, maybe he shouldn't have gone up behind the tree. Do you know what I mean? Like if he'd gone centrally, he'd yeah. gone the other way or whatever. Or whereas now it made he made his kind of his intentions clear, and kind of easy. Oh my god. Well, he's got to do something to save him, hasn't he? What the hell was that about? It's going to be hard for the flings to find a way to get him out, just because of how um. Strength two, and the guard. The guard is relatively reasonably placed. Is it? <laughs> he's, he's got a guy behind him, but that's instantly counted. So he just needs one assist for a one d, two assists for a two, and then he's off. There are many. There's what? Yeah, they are, they are the assist scores. I guess you need to. Well, the issue is also the players. There aren't too many players available. I guess, but he can do it. That take root is a problem. You could just blitz. I would reroll that stand up. Oh man, if it wasn't if it wasn't so early in the turn, I might reroll that stand up just because you have seven fucking rerolls. Yes, yeah, that was maybe a and thing to take later. And you're not you're not later. winning an OT. Yeah, There's maybe no that was a thing to take later. Like as much as you know, safe moves first. That isn't a safe move, right? Because it can mm -hmm. like the roll can fail. It's safe in terms of it can't turn over. But oh my god, that was really unlucky, wasn't it? Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he stole three. He stole three still. Yeah, so and then he got the power on the blitz as well. So yeah, so as it happened, he used the reroll on the blitz anyway, and then so then he would have. Yeah. But yeah, I would have done the blitz first, and then and then try the stand up. Yeah, I agree. You really do want this tree. Up. And honestly, it would also let you reroll the um, take root, which because you do need you need all your players this drive. You because you can't win an OT with flings against undead. You're not. It's not happening. Mm. I don't think. I think he had three star. I think he had three and got one off the kickoff. I've got a feeling. He he got three, got one off the kickoff. Both teams won a reroll um, on the kickoff event. This yeah. was why undead have one now. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was a pretty unlucky turn for Chet Sweezy. Yeah, but... he had a chance for that. They had that turn had the chance to be incredible. It ended up just being a continuation of the game so far. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he could have been winning, but he's just continued. Maybe made it even. Now he's just still losing. Yeah. Oof. No, well, no, he can't read with one reroll. Can he? No. I was just the thinking Singola would have rerolled that, but uh <laughs> Yeah, the undead really have to consider saving all their rerolls for the whole drive because unlike the flings, they can play for overtime and can can think they're reasonably going to win it. Well, I mean they've got one reroll, right? So you there's no there's no situation you could possibly reroll. Yeah. Um, like it's gotta be game on the line to reroll that for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not at this T V Dimmy, the undead Did he? Why did you let your mummy get pushed? Why did you not follow? What? <laughs> I guess I can see why Deep Root doesn't want to... I, I don't understand either of those two turns. <laughs> uh, no, I don't understand either decision there. I, I guess... I mean, I get both parts are like, No, no, I don't want to get controlled. Flings. I'm but also, I feel like both players are just going to end up, like, Mark... I get... Where is this mummy going to go that's not Mark and... Whatever. He's going to try and get into the play? Yeah. I mean, I, the... you've, got, you've got to not stand firm just to hope that your opponent doesn't follow, and it worked. <laughs> I guess, I guess that... I guess the, the non-stand firm is much better than the non-follow. I guess both players just think their player is better in other places, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. But Undead are just going to break through the line, so I feel like you'd rather be tying up deeper so that he can't get back into the game. Yes. 
But you can just re you can if he doesn't tag you can just re tag, right? Like if he mm -hmm. doesn't follow you and just re tag. Mm. If 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 you want to tag him. True. And I guess it's better to be um yeah, and it's better to be in this square and re tagging on the left than be standing next to the mummy that's dead, so they'll they can't block you now. To free up deeper. Yeah. Yeah, this is, oh man. It's like as soon as the undead broke through, the game was over because there's just no flings just have no way to get caught up with them. Yeah, no, the mummy's just, just gonna just do nothing. Brutal. It's just brutal because you know you can't deal with blood just basically as, as things all, all these guys are, isn't it? Because you mm -hmm. just can't you just can't deal with blood just th throwing halflings at them, like it's just it's just pathetic. It's like sons are sons are an absolutely brutal matchup for them because you just can't deal with with blood. Yeah, sons are the team that Loki just crushes Sunties because they just have no answer for from them for Amazon's so is. They just can't do anything about the blodge. And they get out strength and everything. Demi's saying the one thing I agree with him, which is I don't think Amazon's will win Giles <laughs> before it's over. No. Not. Maybe there's like a theoretical world where they could, like if you were a Fumble Matrix system that would been going on for 10 years, maybe Amazon would win one once, but. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah, then, it seems unlikely. I mean, the Ogres can, right? At, at, at their current win rate, they've got a one in a million chance of winning. <laughs> yeah. Any team can, you could just literally roll a six on every dice and your opponent could roll a one on every dice and then and then you definitely win with any team against anything with any player. <laughs> yeah. So so yes, anything can win chalice, but I, I agree with Dimi that they will never win chalice. It's just too hard. And also there's too many popular teams that are really a painful matchup for them. It's just they're kinda awkward that way. And it's, I think, in a similar but different vein to Lizards, um, where Lizards struggle against teams that are popular at high team values, so it can be hard for them to win. Yeah. But Lizards have won because eventually, because Lizards just have more raw power than Amazons do. Yes. They have the movement and the strength that Amazons don't. Yes, they, they don't, they only need slightly bad, like, dice from the elves or slightly bad dice from the kill teams to then not get removed or not get elfed on, and then they're just... They're still lizards, and they're completely amazing. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and yes, Demi White has way more chance of being Fury than Sons when he tries because he's he's oh wow he's still oh got a puncher's God. chance, hasn't he? Like, you know, as much as as much as Fury came back from the dead against Deontay Wilder, like can still get knocked out, can't he? Probably. <laughs> he's as much chance as that zombie did against Root, So. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And yep, that's, that is actually a critical injury, so now the Zonflings are without a reasonable uh, chance to force OT and get lucky and try and do like a TTM and OT too. Yeah, yeah, I love that foul. I, like, that's what I said in that first half. Like, gotta, mm -hmm. gotta foul him if you get the chance, I think. Oh well. I. No, you just surf Sorry, you didn't even... Yeah, you just surf Sorry here. You block and the blitz are off. And, uh... After you get the ball secure further away from the rest of the team. Consider fouling the, uh... You probably foul the sure feet halfling, too. Here. You're just trying to get any chance they have to tie this game up in regulation off the field. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, did it so like under two It was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, this Don't is pretty like... much over now. Surfing Zara is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I would have. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I thought I would have done it differently, but he's doing it to save the dirty play for the foul, which is great. So, yeah, the, the sure feet flings about to get removed. <laughs> yeah. Why did? I'm. Uh, what? Nope. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> right. Okay, well, that, that makes all makes a lot less sense then. He's literally the only way your opponent... Well, he's one of like the two ways your opponent 
can do this. One is you try and dodge from diving tackle, the other is a one turn, so... <laughs> he missed with his dirty player. But, like, it's the only reason you, like, he did the blitz with the thing, so if you're gonna blitz to serve Zara, then you do the initial block with block, and if you're not fouling him, then you use an extra player to, so that you do the block with block for the first hit, right? That was so lazy to do the first block, a blockless block. A blockless block! Like, is yeah, fine probably, if your plan is to foul yeah. there later and stuff, but if your plan is to not foul there, then, then you just don't need that player free, and then you, you make the initial hit with block. Yeah. And tackle. I don't think the undead's playing perfectly. The undead is also so far ahead it doesn't matter, so you just play with the sloppy situation. It happens. Yes, that does. it does happen, but he's, he's been sloppy when he wasn't winning, <laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, the dodge from diving tackle is going to be like, somehow going to be the resounding memory from this game, because it was just insane. Yeah. But yeah, that's, okay. I mean, it is it is. This has to be like, a foul. Basically. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. It has to be a foul. Like, what else is this? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's done max what? one up. No, he hasn't. Oh, my God. What? Do you not understand how stunty works, Mike? Oh, guy? no, he's, he's got move four. He's got move four. Don't worry. Oh, okay. He's got okay. move four. Do it anyway. No, don't. Get all the players. No. <laughs> no, 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 because you, you don't want to go down to below 11, right? Oh. So no, no, actually, actually, like not not fouling him with being moving for. Plus, if you don't do anything, you might just cast his own players. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing he put all those tackles ones around. I, I think it's fine. I would if you're just gonna do that, just you know, this is blue on the bottom stand, right. Did he stand him up? Yeah. He... What the fuck? That's insanity, isn't it? Yeah, he's gonna get super tight. Fill in the hole so he can't sidestep, please. So he can't sidestep. It's turn 16, so. so just, just kill him. Like it. Just take your, pick your block. It's not collusion, but that was really weird to stand him. Like, okay, he's not doing a lot, but he's, he's an extra player, right? He's a player to stand on the other way. Yeah. Like, no need to just get him smashed. Like, he's not going to foul you on turn 16 at 0 0. So just leave him on the ground. Lots of coaches will have to have to live Zulp. It happens all the time. Yep. Someone has to. They have to beat some teams to qualify for this. Unless it's um, Xbox and then they can have a losing <laughs> record and still qualify with Skills. Kiss Love. So. Yep. Right, so yes, because you do you do want max players so you can get like the best, whatever you consider the best, uh, whatever you consider the best. Yeah, I like this. This is the one I like. I like the nut to make the um, landing possibly harder because the dodges aren't ever going to be difficult. I just don't know exactly where How far the lines are and stuff and whether these should be one yeah. forward or... You know, one back, one, these or... one back and these one forward are, are exactly what like, yeah. I've got. I've got no idea where the optimal, the optimal defense is. Um, but I, I do like when coaches at least try this. I really hate the undead. I'll just do the backline against TTM. It's like they have stunty. Like why are we backlining? It doesn't. None of these tackle zones are doing anything. Just move your players forward. Oh yeah, yeah. You've if got, nothing you've else helps on a road. Yeah. You've, you've got to defend against like this, yeah, for sure. It's so just, it's just a, how how. What the best one is, I don't think anybody has got any idea. <laughs> no. Like, because I'm, why would you try? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it just yeah I'm sure matter. someone's done the math, but... I'm not yeah, sure someone's done the math, because I, I think it's mental to do the math. <laughs> like, you would have to be... First of all, you'd have to be, like, pretty smart to some degree, and then you'd have to care enough, and I just can't see those two things converging. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it took us a long time to get to, um, a relatively long time to get to, like, the current quote-unquote, like, ideal one-turn defense, which might change with jump rules anyway. Yeah. But, um, yeah. You'd, you'd have to be smart enough to be able to do it and dumb enough to care. <laughs> and, uh, hello, Rick and chat. Right, well, there you go. That was a, that was a match, wasn't it? Um... A really shocking Chats result crazy. that the undead only won uh, by one touchdown. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, that should have been 2-0. Um, mm -hmm. 
but you know, and he didn't also didn't really. It was actually really bad as well, right? Because he could have leveled. He could have, there was somebody on seventy scored, and he went to seventy three, so he could have gotten to seventy six. So that was big lost opportunity there for the. Uh, if I was the undead there, I would have definitely just been looking at my players to see who I wanted to level. You know, <laughs> like yeah. like like I wouldn't even consider even the whites. Being able the whites to could do with stand firm to help you with one turn defenses going forward. They could get piling on to help you against cloth on. There's lots of white options. The team actually probably needs more, ghouls, but I'm a crazy person who, for some, or I feel like I'm a crazy person who's like, you should always have four ghouls on an undead team, unless you're dealing with inducements. Like, they're just better than zombies. Yes, yeah, I don't they're understand so much why people better. think they are. Yeah, they're so much better. I, I find it insane that people ever argue against taking max uh, ghouls, whether it's on Necro or Undead. It's like, you have to take max. They're amazing. They're completely amazing players. And zombies are completely shit players. And it's only 30 yeah. TV to turn a really shit player into a really fantastic player. So that should be <laughs> should be a no-brainer, yeah. if you ask me. But anyway, um, commiserations, Chet so easy. Congratulations, Okipik. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious of you to come in. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay Lord fantastic.